Imagine you're playing a video game. At its most fundamental level, what you see on screen are thousands of points in simulated 3D space, constantly updated based on player input and game calculations. These points are made into 3D objects by connecting them and creating polygons that can have colors or images applied to them called textures. A game engine organizes all of the visual assets together and decides how to treat them. The engine determines where the 3D objects exist and how they move, it creates a virtual camera to display them on screen, and it handles player input to make everything interactive. Engines also use 2D assets for menus and toolbars. Some game engines include Source, Unreal, and Unity. A 3D modeling program creates all the 3D objects in the game and includes information on how their appearances are rendered. 3D programs also create animations that can be triggered in an engine. A model is made up of many points in 3D space called vertices, which when connected, create the polygons that make up the mass of the model. Animations occur when a vertex's relative position moves over time. Some 3D modeling programs include Maya, Soft Image, 3ds Max, and Blender. 2D image programs create menu and toolbar elements for game engines, as well as the textures that give a 3D model its appearance. When these textures are applied to a model's polygons, it simulates much more detail than is actually contained in its 3D shape. Seams on clothing, for example, might be drawn into a two-dimensional texture rather than shaped into a three-dimensional model. Textures are usually created in such a way that one large texture can be wrapped around many polygons. Multiple textures can also be combined using algorithms called shaders to enhance the complexity of a model's appearance. Bump maps, for example, simulate areas of light and shadow to create the illusion of three dimensions. Some 2D image editors are Photoshop and GIMP, 